in again. It's the slurry pit. Hello? Hey, oh, bloody hell, where are you? Uh, where do you think, George? I've just had my breakfast. But yeah, I honour that bad. It's I've done quite a lot already. Well, I don't care. We've got loads to do today. Don't you leave me in the lurch. I need you now. I'll be heading down in a second. I was just checking cows and I'll be down. Don't worry about checking cows. I'm going to be straight back up again. I know, George. Just just let me th just have a look, man. They need mucking out. They need more bedding. And they need bloody feed. Oh, buddy, no. Well, you can do that, can't you? But we got to sort this out first. Last trail who this is. And then we got to move on to bloody bales. I know. I'm heading down now. Don't worry. Hurry up, buddy. I'll come get you and tell you. You don't need to. I'm on my way now, literally. Right, hurry up. All right, and George, don't, don't worry. I'm on my bloody way. Ah, oh, buddy, come on, flapping about. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you in a bit. The hell fire. He's on one today. Bloody on one. I'm on my way. God, I can't even have bloody breakfast anymore. And again, there is so much to do. So much. Hopefully we can get it done. Fingers crossed, anyway. Should be able to. I mean, he wants me to go keeps after this. Got no hope, not unless he helps me. Do my job, this is. If he helps me, we might have a good chance of doing it, but until then, there's no hope. Bloody hell, buy it. Hello! Where you up, buddy? Don't you hello me? Where are you? I'm pulling up now. Right, well, I'm by buddy tractor. Which one? Your buddy see me come to the bunker. Alright, then I'm coming now. Let me park up. Buddy, hurry up. Faffing about today with no faffing today. There's none. I'm telling you. Alright, George. I'm literally walking over to you now. Bloody hell, chill out, man. Is that falling in that slurry pit? Did it do something wrong with your head? Did you breathe in some fumes or something? Well, bloody cheeky bugger. I didn't bloody... No, you can bloody bugger off, you bloody cheeky bugger. Listen, I'm here now. I can see you. I'm putting the phone down. What are you faffing about? I'll tell you, cheeky bugger. I told you not to talk about that anyway. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> I think we are, George. I think we are. We on it. No chance at all. Don't you start. Right. I'm going to take Is this the last trailer here? Well, uh, take it up there. Tip it with the rest. All right, and bloody hell, George. They're getting through it, aren't they? Bloody are. It's going to be crazy soon here. I'm telling you. But we should have a pass through soon to the field. Right then, right then. Have they done for the date? No, they're just on break. We'll go for a quick walk. Yeah, go on then. May as well. Have a sneak peek. We sure we're all right walking through here. What well, bloody best be? You got to come down here, get trailers and everything. Everything's out back. Hey, George, look. Look. Help me. I'm stuck in the slurry pit. You bloody cheeky bugger. You, I tell you. That'll wear off soon. <laughs> it won't, George. I'm never going to get bored of that. It bloody will at best do anyway. Don't your fault you bloody pushed me. <laughs> you what? I pushed you. I found you like that. No, I remember you put your leg out, them big lanky legs of yours. You tripped me up in it. <laughs> That's not what happened at all. Anyway, the only reason my legs are lanky is because you're a bloody hobbit. Right? I honour an hobbit. <laughs> is that what you got to say? Well, you honour a nobbit. Do you know what a nobbit is? I bloody do. Remember, we watched the films. Bloody good films. I only got feet like hobbit. George, how am I? I don't even know that. I've never seen your feet. I don't think I've ever seen you change your socks. Uh, cheeky bugger, I change my socks every day. I'll have you know. Well, close enough to every day anyway. Enough anyway. So you got to bloody do with you when I change my socks? Bloody hell, it's my life, that is. That's private, that is. Private life stuff. Do I ask you your pin? Do you... Do you bank card? No. Or don't ask me how often I change my socks. Private, that is. <laughs> Get off your head, mate. Anyway, come on, talk me through it. All right, then, follow me. Bloody hell, it's bumpy around here. Are they going to level this out? Well, that's why I'm here. I thought I'd just show you. Some point soon, we're gonna. This is the only bit we're gonna be able to get round. Like all this is gonna be sectioned off. All right then. That's why we got to move it. But we're gonna flatten out an area so we can get down to the field. What from this side? Ah. Uh, I've got all the final plans now. It's gonna be good, Scroft. It's gonna be bloody good. 
Well, I'd hope so, with the amount of changes going on. I mean, it looks completely different. Oh, we all do. We, we all do. But don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, after you've taken that silage, come back down. We've got these two trailers here. We're going to load as much hay onto one. And we're going to load as much bloody straw on the other. We're going to take it down there. We need to get the feed down there now. It's about bloody time. Calves will do tomorrow, but after that, that shed's going to be knocked down. All right, then. So calves... Calves and bales today, yeah? Well, that's the one. What about the... The three male calves and, and uh, Bruce? Don't worry about them. They're all right for a little bit. Fair play. Right. So this is getting knocked down as well? Ah, oh, and silo. You're joking me. So you're losing both your bunkers and your silo? I am, but bloody don't worry. We'll be getting rid... We'll be getting other ones. Don't worry. We're going to get a better bloody silo and a better bunker. We don't need two bunkers. We're going to get one. So you're getting rid of two bunkers, replacing it with one? Ah, oh, that'll be plenty for us. Where are you going to put these silos? Where's it all going to be placed out? Well, it's bloody hard for me to explain to you, but pretty much this where you're standing right now, if you look down that way, there'll be a stretch out to the yard. That'll be like the entrance from now on. All this side here is going to be a bloody cow shed, right? New milking parlour, everything. In fact, it's going to encroach into the, the barley that we're growing here, so we're going to have to harvest this, and then from what I can understand, by the time this is ready to harvest, you know, we'll have plenty of... It'll be give us plenty of time for the for them to build it in but yeah it's going to be rather i'd say i'd say about about two year we're going to lose bloody hell but you're glad you bought them two fields then uh it didn't that much though isn't it yeah fair play looks good doesn't it this barley well it looks bloody brilliant done a good job there haven't we i think so i think this could be the best one yet george well, let's hope so. Hey, with all this barley, George, you should start making your own beer. <laughs> what the hell are you? I can see it now. What, the Faffin Beer Company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to the pub for a pint of faff. Oh, bloody hell are you? A pint of faff. I hey, like the idea of that. Uh, well, you never know. They might turn these bloody this barley into beer, for all we know. We can start calling it a pint of faff, can't we? Yeah, but you make a bit of extra if you're selling your own beer. What do you bloody think I made of money? How am I going to do that? <laughs> right, anyway. So silo's going, that shed's going, everything's pretty much going from this side, yeah? Ah, uh, and have you noticed bunker's gone? Yeah, I noticed that. They're parked in the spot now. Oh, I knocked it down, got rid of it all. Yeah, they've done a good job. They really have. Slurry pit's gone, they filled it in. <laughs> yeah, thankfully for you. No more trip hazard. Hey, it won a bloody trip hazard. I climbed in myself. <laughs> that says it all, George. That's even worse. <laughs> you did it yourself. You literally did it to yourself. I honour talking about it. Well, I think we are. <laughs> right, so what am I doing then? Taking this trailer down and then come back and we both go with a trailer of bales each. Well, I'll follow you down. I'm thinking as well. Yeah. You said that needs a service. I spoke to Ross. We can drop that off today. Okay, how are we going to do that then? Well, I'll go up in, say, the Massey, right, in there, with one trailer. This can go up with the other trailer. We'll drop the bloody trailers off. We'll drive up, drop the bloody fent off. I'll pick you up in the Massey. We'll head back down. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I do need a front loader, as you know, up there. If you want me to do the feed mix and all that stuff and loading on the bales... I don't know worry, Lodol's going to stay here for a bit. We're going to take this down, that's why it's been cleaned. So at some point we need to take this down then? Oh, you'll be alright, you can drive that home tonight. What about my truck? Well, I don't know worry about your truck, we got to go Keith's anyway. George, how am I going to get a chance to do this work for Keith? Well, buddy, mate, chance, that's why we got to stop Faff, we've got to get going. Well, yeah, we need to do all this moving about, then go to Ross's, then come back, go to Keith's. I'm going to go down there with you, I want to speak to him for a bit, and you can bloody mow that field for him. The only thing we need to take down with us is a tether and a row, so we'll need to take two tractors down. Bloody hell, George. I think you're taking too much on. We'll be all right. Just get going. All right, then. I'm going to go now, then. I'll be back. All right, look after that bloody tractor. If you break that tractor, I'll have a new farm on. Yeah, all right, then. Chill out. Go put the kettle on a summit. Put yourself in a bloody good mood. And don't fall into any slurry pits. 
Oh man, lots of things to do today. It's crazy. Do need to move this feed though. I just can't believe how much they're taking down. I hope what he's planned is going to work. Spent enough money on it. Ah. So we're going to be losing what? A silo, two bunkers, a cow shed. For what? A new cow shed. I know it's got slurry with it anyway, so you don't have to worry about slurry pit. But yeah, it's a... Uh, we're definitely going to miss out if we haven't got any bunkers in a silo. So I'm hoping we, he's got that planned out. I'm sure he has. He, he said he has anyway, so... I'll have to just see what we get. Sorry, buddy. He's going to be happy with me, ain't he? He ain't slowing down. <laughs> right, let's get this to the farm. We're going to tip it with the rest of the silage. Then we've moved all the silage over. We're going to have to get... Trail load of hay and a trail load of straw. I guess that'll be my job load on. Alright, we're gonna have stick salads in that corner again. Hopefully we got enough. I mean it's gonna be a while as well so, till we're actually out in them bloody grass fields. I know that's what he wants me to do today. Definitely know that's what he wants me to do today for Keith, but it's only just a small field, luckily. And the only reason he wants to do that so early is because of the fact he hasn't got any bloody space shifty slurry. And we can't help him with that at the moment. Right, that should do the trick. Me up, bloody hell. He's ringing me now. If this is George, he can bugger off. Hello? Hey up, where are you? Are you kidding me? I've only just got here. Well, you're bloody faffing, that's why. Come on, I would have done that by now. I bloody would have done it two times. George, I've literally drove here as fast as your tractor goes and, and I'm tipping it now. I can't go any quicker than that. Oh bloody hurry up, right? Yeah, we haven't got all day. I'm going to be as quick as I can. I'm driving this thing straight back and we'll be done. Yeah? All right then. Yeah, I don't know if we've got enough here, George, I'll be honest. Well, we're just going to have meat do. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, mate. Hey, anyway, hurry up. I'm on my way, don't worry. I am bloody worried, you're doing it, baffing about. <laughs> right. Right, well, if I was you, load up first one, I'll move it out way, and then when you're done with that, you can load up the next one, we'll go up together. Alright then. Where did you put the, uh, where'd you put my tractor and trailer? Where you told me, out the way. What, by where, where by where Beanie keeps horse? Yeah, it's just to the left of that. Right, go on then, get it sorted, try and load on as many as you can, it's going to take you a little bit of time, but... Yeah, I'll make us a brew for when we go. Alright, and no worries, I'll crack on with it now. I'll put, uh, I'll get hay bales on first, then I'll do straw after. Alright, no worries, buddy. See you in a bit. Alright, see you in a bit. Don't fire off, remember? We got new loads. Yeah. It's not helping, you know, putting me under bloody pressure. Well, you bloody best do better than, aren't you? Faffing about. <laughs> He's such a. He do not help me at all. At, at all. Like, he really doesn't. Crazy. Right, uh, let's think about this. We're going to have to just take as many as we can. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Bloody George faffing today. I know it's got to all be done, I get that, but we can only do so much. You know, there's no point in stressing about it and taking too much on. The sooner we get this sorted, the better it will be. It's going to take a lot of, a lot of faffing just to sort this bloody build out. I 
No wonder bloody Jerry went for a farm. <laughs> Makes your better life a lot easier. It really does. Oh uh, yeah, let's swing it here. Yeah, I, I really do get the logic with that. Hey, up now. Who is this? Hello? Hey, you alright? I'm alright, mate. Are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just bloody ringing because I've tried ring bloody George. I'm expecting a bloody tractor and no one's got in bro to talk to me. Is that still what's going on today? I bloody... I turned away some other bloody work for this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to bring it up soon. We're just moving some stuff, so... We'll be up and, I don't know, give us a give us an hour or two. Bloody hour or two, that's... That's too much of the day gone, that is. Well, I'm trying my best for you, mate. It's just, you, you know he's doing a build, don't you? I bloody know that. That's got no to do with me, though, has it? Listen, just ring him. He'll to explain it to you. I bloody tried ring, George. You don't answer. Yeah, it's probably because he knows you're going to moan at him. I just hurry up, bar. I, I will, mate. I'm doing the best I can. Everyone keeps telling me rush today. I'm telling you, everyone can bugger off. I, I'm doing it the best I can. Oh, money out, fine. All right, then calm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> just everyone needs to bugger off themselves. I've got to load up two trailers here with bales. Try and do best I can for you. All right, and no worries. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, then, mate. Bloody hellfire. I was going to knock that bale off them. Is he Ross rushing me now as well? People just have to wait, won't they? I'll give, let me just give George a call and tell him. Bloody Ross is around me, Ross. I'm going to have that in the neck. I bet George blames me for that. Come on, George. Answer out. Hello? Hey up. Hey up, you done? No, I haven't done. I'm, I'm like five million miles away from being done. Bloody hell, it's like that song. I would walk five... No, George has said five thousand, so it's even worse than that song. All right, then, bloody hell, calm down. What's wrong with you, then? Ross is what's wrong. He's rang me up, telling me, hurry up. Bloody hurry up. I tell you, hurry up. He can bugger off, he can. Boom, best we can. Exactly. You tell him, then. Oh, no, I only going to do that. I'll let you tell him. I've told him already, but, George, you can't leave that to me. Why not? Looks like it's worked out so far. <laughs> You're a bugger you are. I'm doing everything here. You're doing nothing. I'm doing loads of making us a brew. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm doing everything on top of making a bloody brew. Well, it is your bloody job. Yeah, it's my job, but it's also your job as well. This is a joint venture. <laughs> bloody joint venture. I'd be only that way if I paid myself. Well, technically you do, don't you? Well, well in a way, but no, I don't. I pay you. Right, well, at the end of the day, George, I need help in hand, mate. Just call Ross and tell him for me that I'm going as fast as I can. All right, then, don't worry. All right, and cheers for that. All right, see you in a bit. See you, mate. Hello? Hey, up, how are you getting on? Not too bad, I'm just about halfway through the second trailer. Oh, uh, what, the yellow one? Yeah. How's it going? Not too bad. It's actually all right. I have to pick the bells up a different way, though. So it can be a little bit confusing. What do you mean? Well, it's just not like the other ones, that's all. For what? What do you mean? You'll see, George, when you when you when you notice it, you'll bloody see it. It's the light sideways, if anything. What the hell you are? I know. It takes a bit of time to get used to, that's all. Well we're eating. Our brew's ready. I bet it is. It's been bloody ages. I don't know where you've been with it. Well, it's here waiting for you. Well, come bring it out. One trail is ready, you can go and fent if you want, and I'll lead the way with the massy. Alright, yeah, no worries. No worries. Right, George, I'll put a few more straw on and then I think we should be done. Alright, yeah, buddy, no worries. Right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Phew, <laughs> man. This is a job and off. Job and off.
Should be alright though with this amount, I think. Like, I don't know if I should load some more on, but part of me thinks we've got enough, you see. So I don't think there's much point. I hope so, anyway, this will be enough. We can always come back down for more, just just while we're doing it all. May as well make the most of it. I haven't turned anything off Jerry as well recently. I don't know how he's getting on with his farm move or anything. I don't even know if it's purchased. I'll have to ask George about that, actually. Not interesting to know. What about time? Don't want to start, George, honestly. Took me ages, that did. Well, I reckon what well, you're doing now, aren't you? Yeah, it's all done. It's all done. Are you going to jump in the Massey then? Or do you want to jump in the vent? I'll jump in vent, actually. Well, yeah, I don't drive that much. See what you're on about these brakes. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you'll, you'll notice it. I think it just needs sorting out, mate. It, it, it's, you know, I know it got fixed not long ago, but he didn't do a service or anything, did he? No, I know. We've, uh, we have used it a lot. Gonna have to take the feed mixer down as well, George. I know, when we've done this, we'll, we'll make sure later on after we sorted what we need to do with Keith, we'll take down Massey and we'll take down the feed mixer, eh? All right, then. Right, follow me then, George. All right, then. I'll jump in now and see what you're on about this bloody thing. Bet nothing wrong with it. You're just trying to cost me money. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Bloody cost me money. Done loads today, faffing about, moaning, his, moaning about me every chance he gets. Right, you ready? Radio. Right. Should be alright, shouldn't he, George? And that I know it's been a while since he's actually done anything, but. <laughs> No matter what he does, it won't be as bad as him falling in that bloody slurry pit. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm glad he did it, because it made my day. One of the funniest things I've seen. Bugger her off! It's, it's not clear, you can see the traffic coming past. I'm just going to have to ignore it. He is triggering me today. I'll give him that. I'll give him the credit for that. What? he going? Nuts, isn't he? I can only go when it's safe. I can hear him. There might be another car behind him. Yeah, I can see him now. But he was faffing. He gives me grief trying to get out that bloody junction in the driveway. To the farm, but no, he's, he, he got caught up there. There was someone in between us. <laughs> right. I don't know what he wants to do. I hope he don't want us unload him, because I ain't going to find a way to unload these unless he's got something down here waiting for us. Off. <laughs> he beat me. He's, he's been a really absolute bugger today. Right, uh, I'm gonna just pull this up here. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll drive up and fence still, right? It's in too far from me, it. Yeah. We'll leave these trailers in here out of the way because we can use this bunker, so we may as well use it for now. And then later, when we take feed mixer down and also load, or you can unload them for me. All right. And where do you want me to store them? Well, don't store them in this bunker because it's just a vaff. Store them up right side of this shed. Ideally, we'd want that bloody silage in this bunker. I don't know why you didn't tip it there. Well, I just thought we've got a roof on, like if it starts raining. What well, bloody starts raining? It don't matter about that. Well, normally we'd have it sheeted up at a certain point, wouldn't we? Well, all right then, bloody hell. Anyway, come on, let's go. All right, and I'm ready when you are. Right, let's go then. Is 
You ready? Come on then. Just been thinking. I don't know if Ross actually knows about him falling in that bloody slurry pit. And you can guarantee I'm going to bloody tell him. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. He needs to know. I'm going to tell Keith as well when I get up there. I bet he hadn't told any of them. I bet he hadn't told the fact that he got stuck in that bloody slurry pit and I get winched out. <laughs> I don't know. Busy day. It's crazy as well the amount he wants doing today. I'm thinking about it. Like what we should be doing is I should I shouldn't be doing this work for Keith. I know we need to do him a favour. I know he needs to get his slurry gone because he's filling up again. But still, I shouldn't be doing it. I should be focusing on getting them cows fed. Um, let me see what he wants to do. What do you want me to do? Uh, you drive forward and I'll turn in. Alright then. You just wait out there. No, I'm coming in. I want to speak to Ross. No, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> I do. What are you doing? I'm coming with you. No, no, you're alright. You wait here. It's alright. I'll do this. No, <laughs> no. Pleasure's all mine, mate. I'll, I'll come with you. I want to speak to Ross. I do. Hold up. Hold up. No. No. Come on! Bloody hell, fire. Don't you dare! <laughs> Come on, mate. I'm sure he's waiting for you. Hold up. Bloody hell, fire. going to make me run like that. Hey, up, bloody hell. Take your time, don't you? Time to go this, George. Shut up. We bloody did it as quick as possible, right? What more do you want? It's out front. I'm paying you for it. I'll get it to you. Got to do a load of work at the moment, Ross. Moving everything around. Ah, oh, well, bloody hell. Give me keys. There you go. Right, we're going to get off. Plenty to do. Hey, uh, Ross. Hey, just ignore him. He doesn't know what he's on about. Did you hear about what happened uh, the other day? Did George tell you anything? Bloody hell, no, no. What's happened? Is it worth bloody knowing first? <laughs> oh, oh, it's worth knowing, Ross. I'm telling you. Ignore him. He ain't got a bloody clue. Come on, Scroff. We've got to go. I'll tell you later, but it involves George getting stuck in a slurry pit. Ah, uh, buddy, you are. He did it, did he? <laughs> he did, mate. Oh, buddy, are you going to have to tell me about that? Buddy, bugger off, Ross. You do same. Fuck, oh, buddy, can't believe you told him. Yeah, I'm going to tell Keith as well. They all want to know. No, you're not bloody telling Keith. Keith won't believe you anyway. He only believes me. <laughs> I'm sure he'll believe me on this. If he knows you well enough, he'll believe me. Bloody hell, what are you like? Right, wait till you do something. I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> By all means. You would anyway. Ah, oh, bloody would. Right, come on. We'll get back, jump in. Probably jump in forward and I'll follow you along and I'll all one of the pieces will get straight Keith, see? Yeah, I right, um. What's wrong with you? Why are you bloody sound depressed? Well, part of me just thinks we shouldn't be doing this. I should be getting all that stuff moved over and unloaded and then getting cows fed. Well, they've got a bit of feed, they'll be a right. Yeah, you say that, but... I don't know, we're going to be cutting it fine. No, they'll be a right, don't worry. And if so, I'll head off and go do it. What do you mean? I'll just go give them a bale or something. What, while well, I'm doing field work? Well, why not? Well, if you do that, then that'll be a right. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get it sorted. I doubt it won't be need done anyway. Well, if it doesn't, then that's a right, but... I'm just worried that Dan ain't got enough feed. Going through it like anything at the moment. I know I'm well, doing well with milk as well, so you know, it's making a difference. Well, that'll be why we're running out of bloody feed. Well, it will happen this time round, don't worry about that. Why is it so important anyway with Keith? Well, because he's got bloody no land, bloody slurry on, and he's only got a small patch, but he needs to mow it before he gets his slurry on, so when he you've got to mow it, you've got to bloody row it up, he wants some hay from it. And tear it off and then bail it up. What, all in one day? Oh, well, I thought when, you know, after you've teddy, just a nice sunny day, leave it an hour or two, you can go out and bail it. What, and then what? Well, then just leave bales out on the field and he'll all put them away. Ah, I get you, and then he can spread some story, eh? Well, I don't worry about that. I don't think he wants you to do it. He'll, he'll sort that out. Is he paying us for this? Ah, oh, he's paying us, don't worry. I hope so. 
Oh, I thought we could split it. <laughs> right then. Even though I'm doing most of the bloody work. Yeah, but bloody hell, that's finder's fee, that is. 50% finder's fee. I got you I got you the job. Also, using my bloody equipment to bugger off. Yeah, I don't mind, George, anyway. It's probably about fair. You've done a lot for me. Look at this bloody house I'm in. Exactly. I honestly don't mind. 50 50 50s, I'm fine with that. All right, then. Right, anyway, let's get back, get hooked up, head down. We're not doing too bad for time at the moment. Yeah, I know. We best keep going at this pace, though. Can I stop for that brew soon? You've made it me, but I haven't really actually stopped drinking it. Well, you don't need to stop, do you? You can drink it while you're bloody driving. <laughs> yeah, right then. I'll drink it whilst I'm driving, getting hooked up, mowing, rowing, tedding, bailing. Oh, that's it. You got the plan. And you'll have a two-hour gap. Yeah, that is true, actually. Well, you best make sure Keith gets a good brew on them for me. Well, I will, don't worry. Right, drop me off here and I'll get the hooked up. You you pick up bloody... Uh, just try to think. You pick up Teddy. Row's probably best on mine. All right, then, George. See you in a bit, mate. Well, see you in a bit. Right, so i got to get the tedder. Yeah, Ted is probably more. Yeah, Ted is more heavier. I can remember him having a baler. I can't remember his mower though. I don't think I've ever used it. Go that was like a glove. Perfect. Perfect. Right, so let me bring this out. And then I'm gonna wait for him. It might be a nice chance to just have a bit of a me brew. Wait for George to get set up. Have a quick sneak peek and nose at what these are doing. I find it fascinating, I have. Actually the size of that bloody crane. Fair job, isn't it? And they're doing a mess about as well. Yeah, it makes sense now why we got to clear the bunker out. And move them calves. Probably be knocked down soon. Bloody slow, isn't he, George? Every time he follows me, I have to make sure he's still there. You can see him right in that mirror there, right at the back. <laughs> he was on about me faffing. Honestly. He's the one that bloody faffs. And he's going to get up here. Now he's just going to sit in the house with Keith and T. Having a laugh, chilling out. And now I've got bloody do everything. Love it if he could help me out. Maybe I could do the mowing. He could do some rowing up. You know, one dirty, would he? I've got no chance. As George would say, i got more chance of winning Tour de France with bloody piles. <laughs> right, uh we got enough room to get past, I hope so. Get things parked down out the way, maybe. Right, that should be right there. Let's leave it there. You want them bloody knock on? Right then. I know what you're going to do. You're going to bloody tell him. So if you're going to tell him, bloody get it over with. <laughs> Yeah, you know me you know me well now. George, you bloody tell everyone. You'd be put a sign up with me. I don't know. You'd put a sign up. Right outside the pub you would. Well, alright. Anyway, I'll leave that running for you. You can sort of tool out, can't you? Yeah. Alright then. I'll probably use Massey for most of it. Alright then. Where the bloody hell is he? He's here now. Hey up, Keith, you're eight. Hey Keith. Oh bloody hell, that soon. You're unforgiving. I'm bloody forgiving. <laughs> right, I'm here to do your feel, mate, but I know you're going to go in with George and have a nice brew and sit around whilst I'm doing out. <laughs> well, I know he's bloody cheeky, ain't he? No, no, I just thought, has he told you about him being in the slurry pit? <laughs> Don't start, Keith, I'm telling you. I'll let him tell you about it, honestly. He should have been there. It was hilarious. I had to winch him out with the load all. No, he didn't. That's not exactly true, is it? Bloody hell, Scroft. Right, see you in a bit. 
Shut up, Keith. It's in a lot like that. He's talking rubbish. Don't believe him. He's too young to know anything anyway. <laughs> no regrets. Not one. Right. Uh, oh, bloody hell, he is right. That's getting full. See why we're doing it now. Uh, he's got maize still planted in there. That's not bedded through yet. I don't really want to leave too much line around. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just try and stick this up against the side. Hopefully that'll be out of the way enough. That should be alright, shouldn't it, that? So, Ted is on with George's tractor. But if we just get out and do some mowing first, I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah, it's not a big field at all, is it? Looks good, the grass does, though. Go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go anti-clockwise first, and then we can go from there. I'd say. Oh, nice mower this is. For size, it is. Don't do a bad job. It is a decent mower that is. Small but decent. Perfect for this size farm. Right, shouldn't take me too long hopefully. Let's get some tunes on. And uh, yeah, we'll fly through this. That's done. Come on, George. Stop faffing about. Let's get back for them cows. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, Keith. You make me laugh. I hope he's here. All right, Scroft, you done? I am, yeah. Bloody hell. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Oh, you did it in good time, mate. Tell you. Hey, do you want a brew? Um, Probably should get back for them cows, shouldn't we? Well, that's true, that's true. Uh, all right, and Keith, he's done them for you. So you have to just put your stuff. We have to just put bales away. Right, yeah, well, you know, he does what I tell him. That's why. <laughs> no worries, Keith. At any time, mate. I'm sure George will send money over. He says he's going to give me half, so we'll see about that. <laughs> I bloody will. I will. Don't worry. Right, come on then. Am I following you back? Yeah, let's head to yours and then. 
Just need to get that feed mixer up there, don't we, in that uh, load all. Well, I'll eat him. Oh, I'll eat him. Right, see you in a bit, Keith. See you in a bit, Keith. Boop, boop, boop. Right, are you ready then, George? Right, go on, give me a chance. Let me get in the bloody cab. Faffing about. Faffing about? You've just been sitting in there for a couple hours doing nothing. Uh, how do you know I've been doing nothing? I've been talking to Keith of technical decision making, coming up with bloody grand ideas and grand plans. It's all you know. It's where the bloody. It's where the magic happens. <laughs> I don't know what to know about that. No, bloody hell, not like that. Bloody hell. Right, come on. I'm bloody ready. Go on then. Faffing about. Faffing about. It's me. How am I faffing about? It's him bloody faffing. I've just been doing that for ages. I'll tell you what's faffing about. Taking this route back. You want to like this? I'll tell you that much. Follow me down here, George. Come on, it won't hurt you. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't be happy. <laughs> I wonder if he'll follow me. Hey, up. Hello? Where bloody hell are you going? Where do you think? Shortcut this is. Bloody shortcut? What's the race? I've told you we got to get back. We also want to brew, George. Bloody hell, so you're taking a shortcut for a brew? No, I'm taking a shortcut to get back quicker so we can get back to the cows with all the stuff we need so then I can actually have a brew. I tell you what, you bloody need this brew desperately. Cows will be fine. They've got some grazing land. Right. Stop at my house. We'll have a brew. Ah, <laughs> all right then. Bloody hell, I've seen that crane from here. Well, oh, bloody hell, who would have thought a crane's tall? Shut up, George. Right, I'm going. Oh, you bloody fool. What do you expect? <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> bloody hell. Taking the mick out. Of course it's going to be tall. I'm just saying you see it from here. I tell you. Should have been a comedian. You should have. I'll tell you what, we'll park it out front for a bit. It's easier. Have this bloody brew. I'm proper need this brew. Right, I'll bloody leave that there. <laughs> right then. Well, you can put it back, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I'll put it back. Oh, don't worry. Tell you what, right, let's head inside. You left your bloody front door open, George, again. I'll be right. Like, there's a nice breeze. Them bloody builders are here. Nothing's going to happen. Bloody hell. Come on, then. Anyway, I was saying before you rudely interrupted me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll have this brew. Yeah. Then we'll head down, eh, to Old Farm. We'll sort out the fee for the animals. Right, we'll sort out the bedding, muck them out, all that stuff. And how about then we get some chips? Chippy tea? Ah, bloody chippy tea. Yes, George. Yeah, I'm well up for that, mate. Well, there you go then, see. We'll, we'll feed the animals and then we'll feed the other animal in the room. What? What about me? Ah, I need to feed this animal, don't I? Gets right grumpy. <laughs> Who's the cheeky bugger now? Well, are eating. Can't wait to see this pile, George, in this cow shed. Well, well, should soon see it outside there. Tell you, hey, that parlour as well. I've gone for a nice green chrome colour. You should see it. Bloody beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Did it cost you more money? No, it was bloody cheaper. <laughs> there we go. Then it makes sense. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a brew done well today. Bloody hell, fire! Let me just sit down. Can't I take that? Are you for real? Well, bloody well. Don't I push you up though. Right then. Nice one. Well, we'll drink it and head off, eh? Definitely been a busy one, George. Well, that's it. Oh, best way. Day don't linger then, does it? Feel good about yourself by the end, mate. When you put your head down on that pill, you'll be like, done well today. Ah, uh, that's it. Right, hurry up with that brew anyway. Uh, you cheeky bugger. Well, that's what you say to me. Oh, I'll take me time now. I push back <laughs> the serious Ends unknown to get back the life I used to know. We're all in this 
past and alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this past and alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know